In this video I'll explain how to locate and extract a regular expression match using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the example string that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a string object is appearing which is called myString. And we can print this string object to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our string contains the letters X and Y multiple times. And in between the string contains the numeric values 1 and 0. Now in the next step we also need to create an expression that we want to match with our string. And we do that in line 5 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that another data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called my expression. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see at the bottom how our expression looks like. And for explanation, this expression is searching for all numbers in a character string. So if we want to locate the matching position of this expression in our character string, we can apply the code that you can see in line 8. And in this line of code, I'm applying the rec expression function to our expression and our string. So if you run this line of code, you can see that at the bottom, some output is created. And this output shows the position of our match. So in this case, at the fifth position of our character string, the match is starting. And then it shows the length of the match. So in this case, two values in a row are matching our regular expression. So with the code of line eight, we have located our regular expression match. However, it's also possible to return the values that are contained in this match. And we can do that in lines 10 and 11. So in these lines of code, I'm using a combination of the rec matches and the rec expr functions. And I'm applying these functions to our expression and our string. So if you run lines 10 and 11 of the code, you can see at the bottom that the character string 10 is returned. Or in other words, the match of our string with the regular expression. So in this first part of the video, I have explained how to use the functions of the basic installation to locate and extract a regular expression match in the R programming language. However, it's also possible to use the functions of the string R package to locate and extract regular expression matches. And this is what I want to show you in the next part of the video starting in line 13 of the code. So in lines 13 and 14 of the code, I'm installing and loading the string R package. I have installed this package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 14 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the string R package such as the string locate function as you can see in line 16 of the code and within this function we also need to specify our character string and the expression that we want to match. So if you run line 16 of the code you can see at the bottom that a matrix is returned and this matrix is containing the starting point of the match and the ending point of the match. So as we have already seen before, our match is in the positions five and six in our character string. Similar to example one, we can also extract the regular expression match from our string, as you can see in line 18 of the code. And in this line of code, I'm using the string extract function to extract the regular expression match. So if you run this line of code, you can see that the same output is returned as before when we have used the rec matches and the rec expression functions. However, this time we have used the string extract function of the string R package. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to locate and extract regular expression matches using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. 
That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.